Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you my escape proof beetle cages. Now this one was a pain, and this is my 5th or 6th attempt, but finally I've cracked it. If you've not watched my previous video on how to tame beetles and make fertiliser, you can watch it here. If you put beetles in a normal cage, you'll soon find out that they're escape artists. No matter what you try, they manage to get out and get themselves killed. So after many attempts and weeks of testing, I've finally come up with this. You'll need to put a feeding trough down and feed the beetles rotten meat, as poop isn't their food, it's just something they make into fertiliser. The outer fence posts need to be too high, as the beetles can climb over a single one. I'll go through the doorway and show you around. As you can see, the beetles are on the ground in the centre of the structure. If you keep them on any ceiling or foundation tiles, they can fall through. So the first thing to do is surround them by a wall of foundations. The width of the foundation is needed because if two beetles get too close to each other, they teleport each other apart, and one of them's likely to get pushed through a wall and escape. However, the solid width of a foundation prevents this. Around the center, you need to build a fence one high. This stops the beetles from climbing out of the pit. Sometimes one does manage to get over, so you need an outer wall too high to prevent it getting any further. If it does manage to get up on the foundation, it will end up climbing back over the single fence in the middle and ending back up in the central pit. To let myself in and out of a pit, I've connected this hatchway above a the doorway, then placed a ladder each side so I can climb in and out. The central fence is too high for me to jump over, so if I didn't have those ladders there, I wouldn't be able to get out. I can easily get to the beetles and check on how the fertiliser is coming. It's a good idea to have two or more ways out of a pit, because as the beetles move around, they're likely to block one way up. So if that happens, just take the other exit. Both sides are the same, so you shouldn't get trapped. Finally, I've put X plants in each corner. They're set to high and target all, so if anyone tries to drop dinos into the pit, they'll get pushed away or killed. You'll need to build this on a wide, flat area to link this many foundations together. You could put a roof on top if you wanted, but I've chose not to on this design. Okay, on to the second way of stopping your beetles escaping. And you can do that by putting them in cages. These are designed to put people in, but they work just as well with beetles. You must put the cage up against a wall, otherwise the beetles will escape through the back. Go up to the cage and crouch down, and that will give you access to the beetles inventory. Because they can't move around, it's easier for you to collect the fertiliser. The only thing that's a bit of a pain is getting them in the cages in the first place. When you do it, disable wandering, then drop the beetles in front of a cage with a bird. Then once in position, keep punching them until they move back into the cage. Next, close the door, enable wandering again, and give them poop. And you'll end up with a row of imprisoned dung beetles giving you lots of fertiliser. I've tested both of these methods for weeks, and none of the beetles have escaped yet. So with any luck, neither should yours. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching, and if this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links of other helpful videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.